Good day once again everyone and I want to use this opportunity to welcome you to Mathematics Solution Center. Today we are going to be looking at a question that says find the value of x root x plus 8 plus root x plus 1 is equal to 7. We have root x plus 8 plus root x plus 1 is equal to 7. How do we solve this? Under normal condition, we can't affect what is inside the square root unless the square root is removed. At this particular stage, we can decide to square both sides. But if you should square both sides at this stage, it will make your solving to be more complex, though it is the right step to take. So when you are solving mathematics, you solve in a way that you are to reduce the stress you are going to go through while solving. Solve in a way as to reduce your stress. So I would prefer to take one of these to the other side before I square both sides. Let's take root of x plus 1 to the other side. Therefore, we have x plus 8 is equal to 7 minus root of x plus 1. You can as well take root of x plus 8 to the other side. It's still the same process. Now you can square both sides. Square both sides. Then I have square root of x plus 8 squared is equal to 7 minus square root of x plus 1. All squared. We have squared both sides. Square, we cancel the square root. Therefore, I am left with x plus 8 is equal to 7 minus square root of x plus 1. Everything squared. So let's expand the other side. I have x plus 8 is equal to, this is a perfect square, expansion of a perfect square. That is what we are going to use here. First term squared, that is 7 squared minus twice the product of the first and the second term, that is 2 times 7 times root of x plus 1, that is 14 root x plus 1, then plus the square of the second term, okay, but don't forget that this square we cancel the square root. Therefore, we are left with x plus 8 is equal to 7 square is 49 minus 14 root x plus 1 then plus x plus 1. Okay, we are going to take the whole of this to the other side. Therefore, we have x minus x plus 8 minus 1 is equal to 49 minus 14 root x plus 1. Plus x minus x we cancel. 8 minus 1 is 7. Therefore, I have 7 is equal to 49 minus 14 root x plus 1. At this particular stage, let's take minus 14 root x plus 1 to the other side. I have 7 plus 14 root x plus 1 is equal to 49. Subtract 7 from both sides. I have 14 root x plus 1 is equal to 49 minus 7. X plus 1 is equal to 49 minus 7. We are going to have 42. At this stage, we can divide both sides by 14. Divide both sides by 14 over 14.
Therefore, square root of x plus 1 is equal to 3. At this stage now, we can square both sides in order to remove the square root again. Therefore, we have x plus 1 squared is equal to 3 squared. Provided the step is not wrong, you can take it as many as possible time you feel like taking it when it is necessary. 2 will still cancel the square root again. Therefore, I have x plus 1 is equal to 3 squared. x plus 1 is equal to 3 squared is 9. Subtract 1 from both sides. I have x is equal to 9 minus 1. x is equal to 8. We can check. Initially, we have x plus 8 plus square root of x plus 1 is equal to 7. Let's replace x with 8 anywhere we see x because x is gotten to be 8. Therefore, we have square root of 8 plus 8 then plus square root of 8 plus 1 is equal to 7. Square root of 8 plus 8 is actually 16, plus square root of 8 plus 1, this is 9, and everything is equal to 7. What is the square root of 16? The square root of 16 is 4, plus square root of 9 is 3, is equal to 7. 4 plus 3 is 7, is equal to 7. Therefore, the expression or the solution is actually correct s is equal to 8. Thanks for watching. We have come to the end of this tutorial. In case you have any question, you can put it in the comment section. And don't forget to click the subscription button, like this video, and as well, share it and put on the notification button. Thanks.